The manipulation of, of animals for, for entertainment has been a central theme of the Jurassic movies, I think, right yes, from the start. And how yeah, they like right. to manipulate uh, nature. Is it an important message that they try and enforce throughout? You know, I think there's a parable. I think every every great story has a has a parable. This this one uh, is not dissimilar to the originals and, and has that theme, but it's not the only theme, and it's also, uh, this movie also has some other themes that the other movies did not. Uh, not, not only about uh, the respect that we should have for the natural order, but also um, how we as a society have had our relationship with science change over the past 20 years. It's something, you know, kind of shows, a, sh sh holds a mirror up to society and asks, you know, asks the question, are you taking a moment to, to look around and be fascinated by the miracles of science around you, or are you kind of stuck in the bubble, you know? And also, how far are we going to push it? And how, Genetic how, right. modification, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just right. I mean, you know, uh, you you have to be careful. I think science is absolutely inevitable and important, and you know, we, we, groundbreaking science is going to be responsible for curing cancer and for long life, elongating life, and you know, genetic modification might be the answer to creating food that can be grown sustainably in areas that otherwise you can't grow food. It could be, it could be used to, it's already being used to, to provide vitamins and nutrients to, to, to kids who don't have, the, don't have them. I mean, like, I don't think it's all bad science. I don't think it's all Frankenstein science. But when you have corporate greed, that's your main motivation, sure. you have to be careful. And there has exactly. to be certain uh, ways to keep, uh, keep those companies in check. When you uh, act opposite, I mean, obviously you're not acting opposite dinosaurs. So at the end of the movie, you see the dinosaurs after you know the, the CGI and right. stuff. Is it is it what you pictured? No, and oh how gosh. similar is it? You know, it's 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 way better than I had pictured. Because um, what we work off of is an animatic, uh, essentially like a cartoon that the director creates sure. of the movie. So we're watching. Okay. We can uh, watch uh, the oh, entire okay. movie in, a, in almost like a cartoon. Uh, okay. So that way you get to see piece by piece what they're trying to shoot in every scene, they're like, oh, this is a wide shot. Oh, here, here's what we're doing, it's this two shot, it's just to get this little piece here. Sure. So it's like, a, it's a road map, and in those, they have like these really kind of terrible dinosaurs <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. are like not scary at all. <laughs> and so you get a sense of what it's gonna be, but then when you see it on the screen for the first time, especially in 3D, you're like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I was <laughs> supposed to be looking at. It makes my job very easy, because I don't have to do anything. How hot is it though? It's not hard. It's not hard. You just you, the, the hardest thing is to give yourself over to the process and understand that you don't have to create the fear inside of yourself for it to be believable once the audience sees it. Because there's going to be the addition of music. There's going to be all of the the edits leading up to the point that you're doing. There's going to be an actual CG painted dinosaur. You know, like these are things that will inform the audience that you're scared. You don't have to overact. It's not up to you. You're not doing a single one-man show on a, perform uh, a sure. performance on a stage, you know? Like, you're just a, a small puzzle piece, a small tile on this great mosaic.